go. A-listed tertiary minerals is a multi-commodity project exploration and development group with a focus on copper and precious metals in Nevada, USA, and more recently in Zambia. I'm joined today by recently appointed group managing director, Patrick Cullen, who is currently attending the ASMEC conference. Patrick, how are you today? I'm great, Alan. Thanks for the intro. Uh, yes, um, I've actually arrived in Zambia a couple of days ago. I've been very busy uh, meeting our local representatives, meet, meeting local officials, people with data relating to the projects we're interested in or we have interests in. So it's been a very busy couple of days. Something nice that came up was an opportunity to attend a half-day conference here at the Association of Zambian Mineral Explorers. So I've been in attendance. Uh, the uh, Some very sort of positive discussion. There's really been a, a sea change in Zambia in the expectations of what's going to happen in the industry. There's been some challenges fiscally and otherwise that affect us as explorers. A lot of those issues have been addressed. The permanent secretary has been in attendance, uh, gave some very encouraging uh, message. Uh, the conference is going on. I'll return there now. There's some interesting discussions, technical discussions, on which uh, which affect us because they're they're operations that are very close to some of the options that we've uh, that we're going to you know uh, work on uh, with our partners in Zambia. So yeah, excellent. Okay, uh, well that's great. Well, well we'll come to that shortly. Uh, so if I may, sure. uh, if we could uh, just go back to the recent update that you provided uh, Thursday this week on the Pyramid Project, which uh, is. I think he's citing a lot of investors with its potential for silver. But um, before we get to Pyramid, can you just provide viewers with a quick overview of tertiary projects? Okay, so okay, so tertiary is active in in Nevada. It's like a one of the you know one of the prominent uh, mining jurisdictions. A lot of activity there at the moment. Some of the big the majors are there. Anglo are there. Barrick are there. Uh, Kinross are there. Mining and exploring. Uh, Anglo, in fact, Anglo Gold, rather, Anglo Gold did a deal just in the middle of September with uh, uh, um, Corvus to earn in on one of their mining opportunities. So that's kind of big news. And as you know, and our, your viewers will know, there's a lot of the, the AIM juniors, such as ourselves, that are active in the area. Uh, our other projects uh, that we're getting active with now, of course, are in Zambia. And that's really focused on the copper opportunities, possibly cobalt, nickel, really the battery focus. That brings the battery focus to tertiary. Um, and of course, the precious metals in uh, in Nevada with the silver and gold, and of course, copper opportunities there. I'll touch on that. Um, let me yeah. say, okay. Obviously, we're active at Pyramid. The results are very exciting. Um, we're also active at Brunton Pass in terms of getting the early work that's going to lead to similar um, outline of work and objectives as we've seen at uh, Pyramid. Um, yeah. Referring that's to Pyramid, way. okay. So this is, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I was going to say that silver mineralization zone discovered at the Pyramid project extended further than the first thought. Um, and uh, of course, you reported okay. high silver, silver and gold grades intersected with that earlier this week. Um, can, can you yes. tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so the, I mean, okay, so the, the key issue here is we, we had a phase, a phase one trenching that, that followed on from historic and soil sampling that we did ourselves. We flew using drones, uh, surveys, uh, geophysical surveys. So we really started to hone in on some of the opportunity there. The second phase of trenching, which is completed now and, and revealed these exciting results, is basically the follow-up. It's the next step. What we've achieved there is, yes, I mean, a, a clear zone of mineralization in excess of 500 meters. One of the nice surprises is in, in the trench, uh, trench one extension, um, we got like a, a almost 60 meters, 59 meters zone, and within that we had some very high silvers uh, in the 500 plus range. Also, complementary gold, which I want to make a point of. So, gold and, and silver very commonly associated in this in this what's called the Walker Range. Now, the Walker Range, we're we're in the north of Nevada, we're east of uh, Reno. Uh, the Walker Range uh, hosts. Uh, historic deposits, and I'm talking large-scale historic deposits from the 1800s and early 1900s that are in the, 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 the millions of ounces of gold and hundreds of millions of ounces of silver. So these are the kind of, we're at the stage where we're, we're starting to think, you know, is there more here? What can we do? Um, I specifically refer to the, to, the, to the target as being drill a drilling target. That's what it becomes now. So, and I think this is what, what tertiary is about. What we're trying to do is quickly move through the stages of exploration that take us to the decision of whether we're going to drill or whether not 
um, and not just sit and toss the ball about. So that's where we're at. And obviously, this new uh, moving now back to Zambia, it's going to be a similar situation, right? What I'd like to say about Zambia is, uh, well, I have a lot to say about Zambia, but in the first instance, the, 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 the expiration season is coming to a close. The rains will come on, on us by December. We're currently in the process of getting environmental uh, uh, approvals for the exploration work we want to do and that takes time we're moving ahead very smartly um, but in, if we don't get to say significant exploration in this season we'll be coming back with in the new season next year when the rains have passed so I'm very happy to be active on the two projects currently in Nevada because it keeps us busy it keeps our news flow um, active um, and, it, and it gives us that balance between, you know, two jurisdictions. This is one of the great things about having uh, a number of jurisdictions is that, you know, th there's there's risks that you can you can manage, you can mitigate. Be they be they the actual mineral that you're, you're seeking, or a political risk, or for example, in this case, a simple logistical issue regarding weather. So so yeah, but that's why I'm here. I'm trying to move things forward as quickly as possible, uh, making good Excellent. progress. I'll be in the bush tomorrow. Uh, and I'll be actually visiting some of those sites that we referred to when we announced the um, the option agreement with our partners here in Washia. Excellent, excellent. Um, just back to Nevada a second, of course, on, still with copper. The Brunton Pass copper project piqued your interest when we last spoke. What are your plans with Brunton Pass? Well, that's okay. So that's undergoing some of the early work that, that leads to trenching. So we're, we're, we've been taking surface sampling, um, We've been taking, um, um, you know, uh, chip samples, and just trying to hone in on what's the, you know, where are the best places to do some um, to do some uh, trenching. So I think that's going to be the next phase there, and that that'll come in time. Uh, again, same same modus. Uh, seek out some key locations, put in some trenches, understand the geology better, trying to get a feel for the model, uh, and then and then take it to the decisions about whether there's drill, a drill opportunity there or not. Uh, look. At, um, at um, Pyramid, it's clearly a drill opportunity at this point. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so so um, back to uh, Zambia again. Um, at the ASMAC conference, um, you, you've obviously acquired a lot of information already. Um, on the uh, value inflection points for investors looking forward, um, have you learned anything today that you can apply? I think that we're probably here in terms of the junior explorers, we've arrived sort of at the front end of what's going to be a very big move into Zambia. Yeah. That's clear. There's a very clear um, there's a very clear change in the thinking and what's going to happen in terms of uh, I'll say legislation in terms of policy rather. Um, we've been we've been given assurances on different levels from different uh, organisations, and I talk about. The, the Chamber of Mines. I've been to visit the uh, cadaster. You know, um, listening to the permanent secretary speaking today. Um, so there's the, the, they've they've known what the challenges are. In the past few years, Zambia has become non-competitive if you compare it to other jurisdictions for copper in like uh, the DRC or perhaps you know we see a, a lot of work happening in Botswana and they're keenly aware of this. They know what the, the the structural things that need to be fixed from a fiscal perspective. Um, the rocks are there, and the interest is here. And so, you know, so I feel uh, inflection point certainly will be, you know, when we start to gather more and more information and and show um, show the investor that we're, we're you know we have a real opportunity here, um, and they'll be happy if they're in tertiary when they see other other juniors following us rather than we following them i think that's the that's an opportunity for us um, and that's what i'm that's what i'm chasing here super so an awful lot for investors to look forward to in the coming months I, yeah. patrick cullen managing director at tertiary minerals thank you again for joining us today no appreciate your time alan and thanks very much